Hey, welcome to TWC Projects. I'm Ted, and today we've got a few things in store to work on. Uh, one is um, the big old dump truck. We've got some cleanup, little minor repairs we'll do on that. Um, we'll probably take the excavator down in the woods and um, clean up some more of the stumps and things that are down there. And I'm not sure what else, but that's our day so far. So uh, stick with me and let's get to work. So that's looking a lot better. Uh, as you saw, there was mildew had grown all over the seats and the dash. And uh, so I used some Clorox uh, bleach wipes that help kill bacteria and um, wiped everything down. And I also put this um, moisture collector in here. It'll probably be pretty full next time, but the way that works, I don't know if you saw it when I had it apart, but the salt packets sit up in the top. They absorb the moisture, and then I, eventually I guess the water settles on the bottom. So hopefully I can take that inner part out, dump the water, and put it back in and keep using it for a while. I don't know how long those last, but um, for some reason this truck is collecting a lot of moisture. It has been pretty wet and rainy, and it does sit back here in the shade. Um, I don't really want it in the sun, though, because the sun does more damage, I think, than the than the moisture will so we'll see um this truck clearly had a problem with moisture inside anyway i knew that because of some of the rust that i had to clean up originally um so that's that for this part of the project we'll keep going now and um get these boards up on the truck to replace this one that had a these were old boards anyway, but it had clearly several knots in here, just a real weak spot. And one of the logs I put in hit it and it just busted it out. That part, I think that part was already cracked anyway. And then it just, so it broke off. So um, we're gonna replace those next and then um, we'll move on from there. Hope that makes sense.
all right that's it i'm uh wrapping it up now uh it's kind of hard to tell uh, for all the work that i did it's a little bit hard to tell because mostly i pulled up a lot of stumps and um and then leveled well not a perfect job but tried to even it out quite a bit so that it uh it looks a lot better uh, obviously uh -oh, looks like i missed a stump here but there were quite a few of these when we cut down the the trees and uh so there's still more cleanup to do here but the the from the original and you can probably see them over there the original um the guys that cut down the trees here kind of pushed a lot of the dirt back here it looks like um, and of course it grew up around it but um, so I'm trying to smooth that back off and get a, a bit more of a gradual embankment here so um, it's looking pretty good though I think that uh, it's just going to take a lot of work but um, it's it's really taking shape um, and I've still got this section over here that's got to be cleared you can see the small stuff uh, the whole the whole place was like that at one point and um if you've seen in past videos i've cleared out a lot of this just takes a lot of time um and i don't know if the excavator is the best piece of equipment for this but that's what i've got so that's what i'm using right now and um getting to the point where i have a better view i don't know if you can see the brook down there and i got the sun coming right off of the brook over here but and then of course the other side you can see is the um uh, what I call the meadow. This is one end of it and then there's a bigger opening area down on that end. So still need to clear up some more of these trees to be able to um, have that beautiful view. That's the whole idea, right? To build the house up here and have a gorgeous view down onto the brook and onto the um, onto the meadow and the hillside, although you can't really see it right now. Um, but there's a beautiful hillside going up the other other side that's kind of the edge of my property over there but then it keeps going up quite a ways up here so um another third of the property goes that way so it's looking good i'm excited it's a lot of work and um but it's a little too muddy today to run that dump truck around i got it stuck because you saw well no i didn't record it last time i got it stuck again and i used the uh um I use this uh, rope that I bought specifically for that. I forgot what it's called. Uh, anyway, it uh, did a great job. The excavator was able to pull the dump truck all the way up because it was just too muddy. And once those treads on the dump truck get packed with mud, it just might as well have slicks on. It just spins. So anyway, uh, it's, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's getting later in the afternoon. I, five o'clock I guess so it gets dark earlier and earlier so I'm gonna pack it up and head back but I wanted to kind of show you around the, the end of it I didn't really record much of it but it was more of the same I mean you get the idea from what I did record and um, you've seen some of it before so thank you for joining me as always on TWC projects where I like to fix things create things and enjoy God's amazing creation outside and uh, thank you for subscribing, for hitting the bell to get notified when new ones come out. And uh, the thumbs up if you like it and share with a friend. So really appreciate you coming along with me and uh, appreciate the comments. And uh, until next time, have a fantastic week and I will see you on the next project.